Okay. It is time to... Oh, that's as high up as it goes. Okay, that's good. I'm in my Diane Reevely art journal. I think this is the 8x8 or 9x9 or 10x10, one of them. And I'm going to do something a little different color-wise because you guys know, well, those of you who watch my videos know, that I love color and color gets away from me a lot. I'm going to try and do neutrals in the background and then put some pops of color with my stamps that I carved and a couple other ones not this this wasn't intended all right so I have my brayer somewhere where is it I could have sworn it yep, here it is and guys I don't know I'm gonna do a double spread because I want to put both my girls on here She's a little big. They're a little big, but I think I'm going to go for it. And I don't want to, and I'm saying this out loud, So I, and I haven't gessoed or anything. Let me do a little bit of gesso. I'm just going to do it. Um, I'm going to do white gesso, white acrylic gesso. And I'm just going to use the brayer to do that, too. So you know what? Um, I'm using palette paper, which it's just a waxy based paper and I'm just going to use a brayer um, so that it is like kind of uneven it's textured and not perfect because then when I put the paint down it's going to lay down uh, it'll it'll seep into the page in some places and it'll sit on top of the gesso in others hard to see but it's there I'm gonna put a little bit more and just go for it because I uh, saw something and I can't find it now to refer back to because I was looking through a bunch of um, magazines and different instructional magazines that I have um, saw something that's kind of stuck in my head and I don't remember exactly what it looked like but I kind of remember it being super soft and that's what I want to do so this is you know I have a fan blowing on me right now and I think it's drying this gesso really fast so that's good and I can see it man it is not going on as um, solid as I thought it would so I have to go back a little more but this is going to be cool because anytime something is different I'm all in because it's new and I'm learning something and I don't know I just that's just something that really um, inspires me when I do new things and that's why you'll see so many different things on this channel uh, all right I definitely see that I'm just gonna wipe off my palette paper so it doesn't mix in with my paint and I could just do this on my craft mat too I've seen actually that's how Kate Crane works with her briar um, and I have this palette paper, so I'm just going to wipe off my got my nails done again today, and I'm not loving them. They're just they're super short, but I mean they're so uh, you know being an artist myself or a crafty person, I know I mean it was a young kid and it's whatever but they're clumpy and they're not even anyway it looks fine I just don't want to get stuff all over them I just got them done but that's why I love the gel manicures because everything comes right off you never have an issue with um, paint on your nails alright so that looks pretty good I'm gonna do believe it or not burnt sienna and that is like a reddish brown. I always call it a reddish brown, but I'm not exactly sure if it's actually reddish brown. And I am going to use my brayer and put some brown.
I chose a place in the book that was um, where the signature kind of connects so it's kind of nice and flat and I like that and this is actually turning out pretty cool because usually I would never go with a brown for a background color but I had this idea it was actually going to be collaged like with paper um, what you gotta go potty come here come go ahead go get off my chair get off me anyway I was going to collage uh, paper on here but I didn't want to make my book too bulky my journal so I decided to do it with stamping and I'm loving it I think this is cool so I'm gonna do another color um, I think I'm gonna use this either trail tan or I had pulled out this is buttermilk I had pulled out antique gold but now I'm thinking I want to do more of a trail tan and I'm just oh here it is nope that's gold I'll do honey brown so what I'm doing is going for a look of like antique papers or um, a little more I love it I'm liking it it's good a little more grungy like Tim Holtzy colors and actually maybe I'll do that I think I'm gonna put some um, Tim Holtz ink on here so basically what I'm doing is creating a background and using I'm trying to incorporate things I don't use very often so the Tim Holtz ink would be a, something I really hardly ever use anymore I was really into them for a while I think I'm picking up some. I don't know, that was cool. Oops. I'm pushing really hard. I think I'm going to do one more color. I really like it though. I'm going to do. Maybe I will do the antique gold. I think I'm going to do that. Amy, do you want to come? Do you have to go behind it? Yes, you did. I knew you did. I can read her mind. Alright, so we'll do a little of this gold, antique gold. This is looking really cool. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it. And we're gonna, I would probably choose to just use paint to shade around the edges. But I think I need to let this dry a little bit. But you know what I'm liking? How it looks like when I went over an area, I was picking it up with the briar this one stayed I'm just gonna let it dry but like this little cluster here it's like several layers of different colors and it looks really grungy so I'm liking it I'm gonna come back up and I'm going to put some stamping on here 
Uh, I kind of, I think I'm going to, instead of the script stamp, which is my, I love script stamps, I'm going to go with this one, which is print. It's a Stampenda stamp. It's called, I think there is a name on it. Hold on. It says Dream Text, Celebrate Hope, Dream Wish, Celebrate Dream Wish, Love. And I'm going to stamp this all over the place. I think I'm going to use brown. Stays on. I'll be right back. I kind of wish this stamp was a flexible stamp. That it wasn't mounted on a wood block. Oops. Because <laughs> then I could use it here and there. But I'm just going to let it be. And I don't know that this is the most juicy stamp. Um, ink pad, ink pad, but let's see what happens. Oh man, I got it. I love it. It looks great. Okay. So I'm going to put this all over the place. This showed up really nice. Maybe I'll just use black. I'm using brown because I wanted it to stay in the family, but I think black will be fine. I just wanted to use a juicier stamp um, pad, ink pad. Can't really see it. On the paint you can. So like I'm going to do it right there and you'll be able to see it really well on the paint. See? So it almost looks like I um, collaged paper. I'll show you. I'll show you. Let me zoom in. Look at that. Alright. Um, I'm going to use the other stamp as well. The, um, the scripty one. Because it just, it's easier for me to work with. What's the matter, Kiwi? saying that. What's the matter? All right. Then I'm going to do some um, stamping with, what is this, buttermilk? I'm just trying to fill this in and get it to look like it was um, collaged with a bunch of different kind of papers almost. Uh, you might be bored, but I'm liking it. I'm going to use buttermilk. And I'm going to use this letter stamp. I'm just going to use my brayer. because I'm using paint and I don't know if it's going to show up such a light color nope not really you have to go darker uh, I really want the um, here it is trail tan this is what I was looking for this is a little bit darker but maybe I should use the brayer but I just, I'm going to go over everything. So let me just, I mean, I'm going to put it on here. It mixed with the buttermilk. I didn't clean off the... Okay. 
Jamie, why are you saying that? All right, I'm going to go away and get this done, and I'll be back to show you the next thing. All right, I think I'm getting as close as I, I'm going to get, but I have lots of lettering stamped in the in the um, trail tan. Uh, I did some black stamping with the crowns. I did a dark brown kiss hug. So I think that's plenty. Um, I'm going to go around the outside edge now. I think that's going to kind of finish it off and then I'll put my flowers on and glue my girls on and maybe words some words but let's see what this looks like I think I'm going to put just to protect the underneath page this is the asphaltum brown that I have. It's just a deco art color. And you can get this effect with your Tim Holtz uh, inks too, your distress inks. But I'm just going to float it on here. I like to do this technique. It's fun for me. And so that's why I do it. Anything that you don't find fun don't do it. That's not part of the plan. It's looking really dark. Uh-oh. I just rubbed the cover. No matter what I have on my desk, I, I never seem to oh, leave enough room. I just got paint all over the brush. Okay. I think I'm getting tired. That's what's happening. I've been doing this throughout the day. So it's about, it's 7 o'clock. I think I started doing this at 2.30 or something. I forget. 2 o'clock maybe. Because remember we had to take Maya to school. I'm sorry, pick Maya up. So look at the difference. I love that now. That is exactly what needed to happen. And so... And then I'll add a little pop of color and some words. I didn't add any white and I think usually you definitely want to put some contrast white and black for contrast so um, I'm gonna see if I want to add white which I think I will because I think this brown is going to make it dark enough over there that I can add pop, a pop of white over there. I think I'm going to do that. Didn't have enough water on my brush. the difference that is gorgeous maybe I should go around the middle too let's see I'm gonna leave it open in the middle um I'm gonna let that dry and I'll be back all right I might cut out some of this this is really long but look, now I've got the color. I'm so excited. Um, I decided to do this for my flowers. So these are the what started it all. I'm going to put a few of these around using paint. I'm going to do light. This is bubblegum pink, I believe, and this is fuchsia. So let's first do some light pink ones. I'm going to, I have leaves, but I don't know if I'll use them. I think I will. And I carved the leaves myself as well. So 
I hope this shows up, but I want it to be faint. See, it didn't. And I think, I have a feeling it's because the background is so rough in texture. And But that's why I was hoping the paint would be better than ink. So let's try again. That's good. It's not bad. So we just watched little fireworks. I'm in New Jersey and I don't think it's legal to have fireworks but these were like little sparkler things and they were selling them at ShopRite. So hey listen I just bought them. They were there and they were really cute. So the neighbor kids came over and we did that real quick. All right and I think I'm going to stop with that. I want to do a couple in the littler one. And I'm just dipping it in. I'm getting impatient. This is what happens. I start to get impatient. So all I did was I stamped some white dots. They're not even white. They're antique white. Um, dots around the edges and on there. So, go off the edge, and go off the edge. And then I'm going to do just a couple in fuchsia. So, these are kind of hopefully going to be more in the background. And, I'm sorry this is taking so long, but I am determined to get this done. So, oops, wait a minute. Oh, paper towel. Okay, and fuchsia. This is actually called royal fuchsia. So this should be great. Uh, where's my briar? Right here. Right here. And right here. And right here. Right here. And then the little one. See, I think I put too many. That's what ends up happening with me. Okay, that's enough. I'm going to stop. I say. <laughs> and then I don't. Because I have, my eye has to feel like it's done. Something over here. All right. That's it. I'm very happy though. I'm very happy. Now, I could go in and I'm tempted to use this something I haven't used, which is, I think it's in my tools drawer. One of these with some black paint. Uh, I have it on the gold paint, the gold right now. Hmm. I'm really tempted to do it with black. And da, 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 da. I have these fine line applicators too, but I think I'm just going to do it with, I don't have a small, <clears throat> let's see if it, if it fits on here, we're golden. I'm going to do it. Uh oh, it fits. But the thing is, it might be super thick. And I want to do a couple flowers. So let me try it over here first. Actually, I want to wipe this off. I'm going to try it on um, scrap paper. And all I want to do
Oh good, it's a fine line. But it's hard to control because it's so big. Huh. I really want to do it because it's what she did. So I'm just going to go. Look how shaky that one is. I like it. And then you could go dot, dot, dot. Well, that's how she did it, but mine is a lot messier. All right, I'm good. I'm happy with that. See, I hadn't ever done this before. And I think if I was using a smaller uh, paint, like this is... Um, charcoal so it wasn't quite black which I think it probably would have looked fine see it's it's pretty fine all right and then I think that's all I want to do um, yep I think it is so I'm gonna have to let that dry and then my girls are going to go on here and I'll probably have to put something white behind them to get them to show up a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm going to put her like right here. Oh, I didn't put any green leaves, but I think I should. <clears throat> I think I'm going to put a few green leaves. What the heck? So I have this color green, which, yeah, I think I'm going to use this. And I carved these, oops, carved these leaves a while ago when I first, first started doing, uh, I had way too much paint on there. You know what's funny is I really, really couldn't picture what this was going to look like. But I really like it. Like, I'm super happy with it. It looks like what I thought. Like, I was tr going for um, something that looked kind of collaged. So, I think I'm going to have to go over some of that, though, to make my girls stand out, though. That's the only thing. So I might have to come back and let you know. I think I'm going to do a little gold dot in the middle of, um, do I have my gold out here? Um, in the middle of them, some of them. But I think it's cool. I need to let that all dry and then I'll be back. All right, so this is it. I love the background, and now I have to add my focal images. I actually added gold to the centers of all the flowers and spattered it with gold. Um, I think that's it, and I added the green leaves. 
and I love it. I really, really love it. It came out just as I hoped. Now, I'm going to add only one of my girls. I'm going to put her here, and I think I'm going to use these stickers and write Free Spirit. But here's my dilemma. Um, I don't feel like they're going to pop off the page, so I have to calm it down. And I really... I'm not used to doing this, but I think I am going to brayer in some color with the buttermilk. So not white, I'm just going to use buttermilk. Maybe I'll use a brush. I think I'm going to use a brush so that I can control it better. It won't look as, oh man because the brayer has a specific look to it. But I'm going to put her right here. So I'm just going to... I have to do this. And then I think I'm going to shade around her too. But I just have to. I have to push this back a little for her to stand out. And I went over some really cool stuff. I'm going to use my finger because I don't like how that looks too. But I think that's better. I'm going to do that and I'm going to do it over here where I'm going to put these letters. Like here. And here. I don't like what I'm doing to this brush, but I think it's going to be better than if I just put it on top of that bold color. So I'm kind of just letting the brush dry brush over that. But I think that's good, and I can always darken up. All right, let's see. I think that's exactly what I needed to do. All right, so I'm going to adhere these with gel medium, I think, because I think I'm going to shade and do things around them, so I want to do it with gel medium. I'm going to do it off camera, though. I've taken way too long. I love it. It's coming together, but I should have put spirit over here. I should have started my S over here because my T is right in the crack. <laughs> Anywho, it's, it was fun. That's all that matters. And so now I'm just taking a little bit of that shadowing color that I used around the edges and I'm putting it um, around her to set her into the design. I've already gone around most of her. And I'm going to go under the letters, at least one side of the letters. Um, I may shade on her body in a minute too but for right now I'm just gonna do like let's see I think I'm definitely gonna go to the one side of all the letters kinda like they're block letters well they are block letters and I just dug through my stamps I'm sorry stickers my sticker sheets I never ever use never use my stickers and I like this one because it was like brown with gold accents which kind of matched what I'm doing here so I did it and I like it and that's what I did because I had my Tim Holt stamps out my letter stamps and I just didn't think it was appropriate for this piece for some reason I had too much paint and so I looked through. I thought, oh, stamps. What about stamps? And so, let's see. I'll go under. So I'll go under. And what else should I do? I think I have to outline. No, I don't. You know what else I saw? There were little butterfly stamp, um, stickers, too, on the alphabet sheet and I could have put in those putting I could have put in them but um, I'll show you 
and maybe I will. See? This just sits it down onto the page so everything's not floating. I think we got it. I could give her a face, but let's look. Yeah, I the one regret, one regret I have is this should be over. Other than that, I think it's good. Um, I want to... It's September, what, like, 29th. 29th, 2017. I think it turned out cute. I kind of want to outline. A little bit. But see, like I said, this is on the crease right there. It's going to get, um, it's going to stick together, but that's okay. It was fun. That's enough. I could give her a face, but she kind of does need a face. Oh, this was the other thing I was going to do. So I have this. Wait, I have shading flesh. I could use this. This is a pretty fair colored skin. I'm just, it's kind of like a peachy color. And then you could just um, shade on her. I could have probably just used the other color too because this looks a little orange. I think this is too orange. I have, I have way too much paint on my brush because I'm rushing now because I know I've taken way too long to do this. But you would want to put a little bit under her hairline and I could give her pink cheeks under her chin um, where her legs cross. I never did give her a, um, a strap. And then I could shade her dress with, like, a green, but I don't have a good green, so I like that, though. At least she looks a little shaded. All right, you guys? Oops. I'm sorry. That's it. That was long, but I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. I love the background using these stamps that I made. I absolutely loved it. And um, I, as always, thank you all so much. And you know what? I had this stamp too that I was just going to do in black. That instead of using the, um, the paint like that I did with the black, but I never did that before. This is what I was going to do, and I think that would have worked really well too. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.